Good night, fellow punters from the Kingdom of Kerry in Killarney tonight in Foley's townhouse. So it's clock on the wall says 20 to 10. Uh, left Cork this morning. We're out of the traps early. We were down for breakfast before a quarter to eight. Um, went for the pancakes and the strawberries, cornflakes, orange juice, cup of coffee. No toast landed, but we were full enough. We were ready to pull a plough, and away we went. Just piss and rain, and we went to Mallow that way. Went to, I took the good road. I was fed up with the bad roads the last couple of days. I went to piss and rain to take a good road. So we went then from Mallow, and we decided we'd go to Dingle. Got to Dingle after a few stops for photographs on the way. Uh, got there about 11.15. Uh, I had a couple of pints last night before in um, the hotel. And there's always a character in every town. And I met him last night, Todd, uh, from the from Blarney. Uh, I don't think he was born there, but he, he's there well over 50 years. Racing man. He had a, what i never seen before, he had his racing docket. And he had his bets put on, but he never looks at the results until the next day until he puts in the docket across the counter. So he, I just said, I won't tell you how they did, but I just let me know. I want to see I want to see what sort of a, a forum studier he was. So uh, we chatted for a while about a couple of pints and good chat, good crack. Uh, and then he says, well, how, do you think I'll be uh, much richer tomorrow? And I said, do you want me to be honest? And he said, yes. And I said, well, you won't need the wheelbarrow. There were the three that he showed me he had anyway. Were, uh, I think one of them might have been placed, but great character. So um, there's, it's great to be, meet people like that. Um, got to Dingle and we drove out uh, Schleyhead Drive out towards Vintry. And then we came back and we'd done the Connors Pass. It wasn't a great hair day up there. There was a great fresh breeze. Uh, but they were up on the hill, the wind anyway. And we went down there to watch or to look at the waterfalls down the side. Um, there was a couple of woeful bad drivers. With, and one with an L plate and one with an in. And one was a young, young girl and she never slowed down at all. I'm not joking you. I, I, I got nearly got a heart attack. I, I had to pull in to the left as best I could. People are familiar with it. There's one stretch of road there uh, below Connors Pass, uh, the viewing it bay down to where the waterfall is. And you have to look ahead and you have to stop. Um, like camper vans or coaches or minibuses, they really can't travel on it. But um, you have to be careful. But there was a couple of them. Very uncareful, I thought, today. But after that, we went into Dingle and uh, at lunch, uh, we had the stew. Um, just they're fairly putting a saddle on the Yanks, I'll tell you. Um, 18 or 19 euro for a bowl of stew and a, a scoop or two of potatoes, mashed potatoes with it. And uh, you, you definitely wouldn't need a toothpick after it anyway. I didn't anyway uh, after it. With a few bits of stew in it and uh, meat, but not very tasty, I must say. We moved on. They, they went for a walk in for an hour, and uh, I tipped back uh, because I had to watch the meter to see if there was any meter man. I didn't see anyone, but I couldn't take a chance anyway. And uh, we came back to Killarney and checked into the hotel, and they wanted me to go for dinner with them. And I said, I manage yourselves. If you all know, this is no, they insisted that I'd go, that such a good old day today and they've seen great views and everything. So no, please join us for dinner. So, right. And I followed them on anyway. Where do we end up? In an Indian joint. Um, and I'd be very conservative with my stew or my roast beef or my bacon and cabbage. But I, I still have to help me now with what to choose. So I had stuff anyway. Um, it was, the scent was mild. Well, I thought it was hot, but I, I, I harshed it into me anyway. I, I couldn't refuse it, but I had to. I must drink a bucket, a bucket of water with it. I'll tell you. But I, I was saying there when I done in Donegal there a couple of weeks ago with um, the previous fella. I walked about five mile one day. There was um, a lather of sweat around the ring of Kerry. There could be a heat wave tomorrow around the ring of Kerry. I'll tell you. We'll have to see. Um. 
I'll have to have a toilet roll and stand by it, say, tomorrow. Now, it won't be that bad, I'd say, but it was a good crack anyway, uh, an experience. So, they're gone to bed, we're having the breakfast at a quarter to eight in the morning, and we're doing the ring of carry tomorrow, and we're going in reverse. We're going to Kinmayor, I'd go Kinmayor first and round about. That way is that you're meeting them coming against you, and, and, and they, they, you're, uh, you can get better better time. So, uh, I listened to the two races on the phone coming into town. Traffic was brutal coming back in from uh, Fossa this evening. Uh, we're coming in around that time, uh, 20 to 5, 10 to 5. And I watched the video back there a few minutes ago, and at one point I thought we were on two winners. It looked like the two horses that we had picked were going to win, and both of them uh, third and fourth, I think. Um, a bit disappointed with the two finishing efforts of both of them. Um, not sure what can we do when we try and pick the one that we think is going to win and hope for the best. Anyway, tomorrow I found it very difficult as well, but there was two in the tracker. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Stephanie Causeway won today. I was going to tip it last night, but I was afraid of the favourite. And I was second the last time. Um, and I won today at a good price to 100 to 30. But anyway, tomorrow there's a horse there. Uh, there's a nice little race on the on the goo, the tapita in Newcastle. Uh, there's eighteen thousand to the winner. La Tam won the Irish Lincolnshire uh, in March for Willie Haggis. He's a great strike rate in Ireland. And to second the last day, then to Jimmy Hendrix, and Jimmy Hendrix won that race of ninety. Four, and he won the Royal Hunt Cup then in Newcastle or in uh, Royal Ascot of a hundred and three, so to the decent run from uh, Le Tam, only a four year old, that's him in the green and red. I nearly said of Mayo. Latam making significant headway begins his challenge. One from the right is Great Max. HM Extreme left is running on a bit in the closing stages. Galiak is behind these as well. They head down into the final fell on then Jimmy Hendricks is a two length leader. Latam and Great Max are in pursuit in second and third places. But it's Ross Ryan on Jimmy Hendricks. Blinkers the first time. Three or four lengths ahead. Wim. Latam is second. He's a good old Archie in that. Actually, when when Jimmy Hendrix ran in the in the uh, in the Lincoln, I chipped him up and I didn't back him in the last couple of times at all. But the Tam seems to need cut in the ground. They they avoided uh, unless there was an injury or something. They avoided the good to firm or even good ground. They, he won on soft to heavy and that was soft that day, and his four runs last year. His worst run, actually, well, it's not, but on good ground. Uh, the other three were good to soft. Um, so there is a bit of cushion in the surface at Newcastle. So the must have saved him. Like, this is a good pot he's going for. That Alagela, that has uh, ran bad the last day on turf. Uh, but we backed it before in January, wasn't it? Um... I think it finished up odds on. Yeah, 10 to 11. I think we're on at 6 to 4 or 13 days in Lingfield. But hopefully, it ran bad enough the last day in Nottingham. Uh, major partnership. Uh, we had the second, I think, in that race that day. And, uh, yeah, Point Linus we were on. Major partnership, which is very disappointing, I thought, there. But that was on the turf, so they're back to the surface that it goes best on. So uh, hopefully the time might be able to do that tomorrow. There's a short one for people that don't uh, tomorrow as well that has run very well in the Britannia Urban Stroll. It's five to four favourite there uh, with three six five, and a week after running well in Royal Ascot, uh, Charlie Johnson brings it out. Uh, very similar to what the Fadley used to, and third to Docklands there is a mile, but back to seven. It would, shouldn't be a problem. He won at seven uh, three times uh, last year. Uh, but he stayed on well enough over eight. But uh, I'd say that that could be a double that could be on tomorrow. There's one uh, bus horse tomorrow. Where are we? We're at Hamilton. 
that live in the, live in the mould. Ran the last day in uh, Windsor, wasn't it? And it was a bit disappointing, I thought, but it's back to five furlongs and they're bringing it out three days later. So I like when a, when a sprinter comes out three days later. It suggests that that was not much sweat last the last day. Um, Quinta won it. That was over six. So they're bringing it back to five. And he had run, ran pretty well at five a couple of times before there. Um, now there is a danger. There was a couple of dangers in it. Uh, that um, a bait uh, me and Nicholas for the dad but Jim Jim Jungle as well that was an eye catching sort of run in in, uh, in Epsom the last time uh, he sort of cocked his jaw I noticed that any time I've done this lately that's the horse that nearly wins but that's him in the light green the lime green but you see the way he cocks his jaw. I don't know what was it the camber or what he didn't like or something. But like. in a dark blue cab already down to the final film, Miss Brazen and Dickie Bird with Democracy Dilemma on the far side. Tatterstall and JM Jungle racing up towards the line. Miss Brazen, Dickie Bird near side. Tatterstall, Tatterstall getting up near side. Tatterstall wins from in second. Like he was holding back something there the last day. It's a tricky. It's a tricky affair because there's only six in it, but. Live in the moment. I did tip him up the last and I was expecting him to win the last day. And uh, I'm just giving him another chance tomorrow. Let's see what price are there. Four to one. Just drifting. Yeah, it's a bit of money for GM Jungle. And, uh, yeah. But you maybe have to stick with the one we backed the last day. Um, anyway. I have to head. We're on the road early tomorrow, so be bed tonight. There'll be no, there'll be no porter tonight. Bash the bookies over and out.